So we're packing it up for the day. Joe's got all my tools and stuff in the bucket. But I, I can't leave without one treasure. And I think this is the one I'm going to leave with. All right, whoa, first barn board. Hey everybody, it's Sharon here. Now for those of you that have been with us for a while, you know that I tend to, you know, collect a couple of barn boards, maybe a couple of, you know, doors, maybe a couple of assorted boards from old houses, but I usually end up doing something with them. So for the new viewers, we have quite a few of them, um, here's just a few things that I've done with them in the past, so I'm not just a board hoarder. Uh, if you want to see some more, there's a couple of playlists in our channel. Go ahead and click on them, and you'll find some more. But for today's project, I love those metal wall sculptures, but have you ever seen the price for them? Oh my gosh, way too expensive for me. So I'm going to show you, I get this from a local hobby store, I won't say the name, but they have half price a lot. So I wait till the stuff gets half price. And then I, what I do is I try to make it look more like one of those expensive ones without the expense. Now you can use this for in your um, living room, man cave, wherever. But let's get to it. Now it did come already with a rust color. But what I wanted to do was add a little bit more like on the edges. So it was a little bit, had a little bit more dimension. You can see it before and then you can see it after. Now I was totally making this up. So I found some bolts that um, Joe had in the shed. Sorry, honey, I had to borrow a couple and thought that would be perfect. So what I was gonna do was put the bolts on the back of the metal and glue them down and, and then put the um, wood on there. Now, I didn't want to buy any new bolts, so I ended up having to just trim them off a little bit. And here's what I was talking about. I thought, all right, let's put super glue on the ends of the bolts. And I bet then if I drill holes in the wood and slide them in there, it'll be perfect. Sounds like a really good plan, doesn't it? So before I did that, I did put a keyhole in for the hanger. Now, don't make fun of my keyholes. I'm still learning and still practicing, but it works. Now I did want to seal it and I didn't want it to turn any darker. So I used a clear satin spray. Um, I had cleaned the board with that house wash and it came out really pretty with the different colors. So I wanted to keep them. Now I also wanted to preserve the new paint that I put on the metal. So I basically did the same thing, just put a few coats on that. Now to mark where the holes were going to be drilled, I put a little paint on each of the bolts and just put it on there so I could make a mark and fill them a little bit more so I could drill the holes in. Now I did not go all the way through the wood and filled the holes then with super glue and figured, all right, this is perfect. Slide them in there, let them dry, and it'll be like Loctite. Okay, not really, that didn't work. As Soon as I moved it once, it fell apart. <laughs> and I think it just didn't have enough surface area for it to glue. So plan B, I already had the bolts in the wood. I did not wanna take them back out. So I just actually made some wood blocks, glued them around the existing bolts, and that would then create more of a surface area for the um, metal to stick. Now this time I used some of the JB Weld, plastered it all over that, and then I just laid the metal art on it, put some weights on it, and let it sit. I love how it turned out. It has a little bit of a 3D. You really can't see the blocks behind it. And you know, being on the background of that wood, uh, it, I think it really turned out pretty darn good. So thanks again for watching and I uh, hope I created some uh, inspiration for you and to look at things a little differently than what you see.